shot while campaigning. The rise in crime has now impacted state candidates. Yeah, C Pastor Kerry Anderson is a candidate in District 30, and he believes he's the victim of a racially motivated crime. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman spoke with the pastor who, despite being shot, has a pretty surprising message. The first thing we heard was the crack, the crack of the gun. The next thing I experienced was the pain in my hip. It was midnight when Pastor Kerry Anderson was placing his campaign signs with a volunteer along Star Lake Road in Auburn when... This random driver comes by and just begins to shoot. The 63-year-old candidate for District 30 says it happened so quickly. He recalls a driver rolling down his window and firing a BB gun, striking him at least twice. This was a BB gun this instance, but what if it had been a real gun? I could be dead. Pastor Anderson says he's fortunate to be sitting here with us today. This is not an isolated event. I, I feel that it was motivated by hatred, and I feel it's a, a racially motivated situation. The reason behind the shooting, unknown. It could have been several things. I hate black people. So I don't know if he thought it was funny, you know, but somebody's life, mine this time, was endangered. And that is something that we need to take seriously. The candidate sharing his story, fearing the incident could repeat itself. Next time, it could be his volunteers, other candidates, or members of the community. You. Christine Reeves, also a candidate for District 30, in a statement to Fox 13 saying, quote, There was absolutely no place in our community or our politics for senseless random acts of violence. Chairman for the Washington State Republican Party, Caleb Heimlich, tweeting, quote, I strongly condemn any and all forms of political violence, property destruction, and vandalism. Public officials and candidates should not be subject to threats or physically attacked. Pastor Anderson says while attacks like this one might cause candidates to get creative with their campaign, there is one message he wants to share with his aggressor. This young man, whoever he may be, needs a second chance. I would like him uh, to meet him. I'd like to know what's going on with him. And I would like to offer him the handshake of a ch second chance. Fox 13 has reached out to the King County Sheriff's Office regarding the incident and are waiting to hear back. Alejandro Guzman, 13 News.